Hey humans, at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a beautiful little video slideshow of 12 experiences you must have when traveling around Palawan. You don't need to have been to ASEAN, SEA, Southeast Asia to have heard of Palawan. Equally, you don't need to have been to Philippines to be aware that Palawan is one of the most desirable, most beautiful travel destinations anywhere in the world, competing directly with the likes of Cancun, Jacques Mel, Pattaya, Phuket, Bali. I mean, the list could easily go on and on, but um, in the year 2020, the fairly influential magazine known as Travel and Leisure decided that uh, Palawan was going to reclaim its title as the best island in the world, which is huge. Um, you know, at the time when I when I when I when I saw that headline and it was being like broadcasted and celebrated across 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 the web, uh, initially I thought to myself, well, uh, it's locked down out here, ain't nobody traveling, tourism is at an all time low, there's no flight. So, of course, it's, you know, it's, it's going to finally show its beauty at a maximum level. There's no human pollution. So at last, nature could rejuvenate itself and display its beauty at its max. So in that context, it's not hard to look at any major island destination and be like, uh, you look like you have been properly rejuvenated because there's no human pollution and therefore you're the best. However, on the other side of the spectrum is the reality that I have been to Palawan and I know it has left a massive impression on me and it is one of the best destinations coupled with some of the best human experiences that I have had. I have traveled there independently. I've traveled there uh, individually on my own. I've traveled there with, uh, with friends who joined me from Thailand and Japan. And uh, there's never a dull moment. Like quite literally, everywhere you go in Palawan, there's like a breathtaking scene. There's a, a, a scenario that will just like blow you out of proportion, whether it's local with, throughout the town or, or in a resort somewhere on the outskirts by the beach. It's just mind blowing. Uh, naturally, there are some, some, some activities that gain a lot of popularity uh, more than others, like, uh, like going to the lagoon. Like everybody who has ever been to Palawan most likely end up in the lagoons. And the lagoons are just, I mean, superb. Just look at Google or YouTube for that matter. By default of there being so many amazing destination options, there are also so many uh, attractions that don't really get uh, a, like a chance to shine in the hierarchy of worthy experiences. For example, did you know that Palawan is one of very few places throughout all of Southeast Asia where you can have an African safari experience? I'll wait. <laughs> I bet you never heard of that. There is obviously no destination that could compete with an original African safari, such as you would find in Kenya or Tanzania. But still, who would have thought? Of all places, you would find an African safari in Palawan. How about climbing a mountain? Or falling in love with some waterfalls? You see, those are experiences that you don't, you don't think of. That's not what comes to mind when you think about Palawan. Yes, there is more to Palawan than the lagoon, the beach, the cave, and doing what everybody else has done historically. So my point is that if you happen to be that eclectic type of traveler and you're looking to do something out of the box, out of the package that's been given to you or dictated to you as of what to do in Palawan, this video slideshow I'm about to show you is for you. Did I mention the native humans on that island? They like some sort of humans from a different category of genetic structure or something. I don't know. They're just like so super amazing in so many ways. <laughs> the human connection possibility is just out of this world. So hey, don't miss that. Okay, I've been hit by the travel bug. I gotta go. I'm gonna pack my bags, man. Um, but first, hey, before I go, I want you to check out this beautiful little video slideshow that I have put together specifically for you, depicting 12 experiences that I bet you didn't know you could have in Palawan and must have should you find yourself traveling to Palawan or around Palawan. Check out this slideshow. I'm out of here. 
Atunako, Amping, Engar, Halong. Check it out. Ciao. Enjoy.